Everyone does. Carelessly making your way through life, obliviously unaware that every minute, every second could be your last. Scattered within your pointless existence is trivial love, pain and emotion that only serve to mask your true mortality. In life, every path leads to the same destination. For this, there is no cure. So seize the day, cherish the moment, I'm coming for you. Surprise. Oh, don't start this again, Sarah. I've already apologised, so just leave it. Just leave it? That's your attitude to everything, isn't it? Just leave it! Just ignore him! Pretend everything's fine! So that's it then? You're just going to ignore me and expect to come back and everything will be fine? Yeah, if you like. Well, it won't be fine! In fact, don't fucking come back! Okay, whatever. Come in. Is everything all right, Andy? Yeah, everything's fine. Are you sure? It's the third time this month you've been late and it's not like you. I know. Look, I'm sorry. What happened again? I think it's over with Sarah. You're just going through a rough patch. It happens to everyone. No, it's... You'll get through it. It's not that. It's just... When she was upset, I just brushed her off like she was nothing. I think you need to ring her as soon as possible. I know how much she means to you. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Thanks, Michael. No problem. I'm always here if you need me. And another thing, Andy. Shit! Hello? No. This isn't happening. <sighs> I've never before taken interest in the grievance of a widow or stayed long enough to be witness when they're informed of their loved one's demise. For the first time, I have felt the consequences of my actions. I regret that I caused the grievance of others. But the thing I'll remember the most about Andy is his kindness, 
his compassion and his refusal to give up on me. That's what got me through the difficult times. But now, in the most difficult time of all, all I have is the memory of a man I love. I hope you found peace, Andy. You deserve that. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> I just wish I could have said that to your face. Sleep tight, my angel. I love you. <laughs> we now come to the commendation. As we remember Andy, we now commend him to the mercy of God, our maker and rescuer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, by your mighty power, you gave us life. And in your love, you've given us new life in Christ Jesus. We entrust Andy into your hands. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who died and rose again to save us, and is now alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in glory forever. Amen. I'm sorry for your loss. It's not your fault, Sarah. I know it's only natural to blame yourself, but there really isn't anything you could have done. Don't act like you know how I feel. You haven't got a clue how it feels. I don't even know you. So how could you possibly know how I feel? I'm truly sorry for your loss. I'm not going to do it. I won't bring any more pain to innocent lives. That's who you are. An assassin. A mercenary. That's all you'll ever be. What did they do to deserve this? They lived. That's a crime punishable by death. I can't. You can. And you will.
To anyone who cares, this is torture. It's all my fault. I have done this to Andy and now I have to live with it. He's dead because of me. I'm not sure how much more I can take. You failed. We shouldn't be the ones to decide who lives and dies. It's a shame how it has to come to this. But you know.